Ah, salut everyone, and welcome back to another episode of Victoria 2, Heart of Darkness. And this is another episode of series that no one else wants to do on YouTube, but we have to do it because... Why not? Everyone deserves a fair chance of being a Let's Play. So, today's nation of choice is Tunis. And since this was like the next voted up, like, nation, it's going to be played. Um... And my thing going into this is just, dang, I'm not going to survive long. I have the Ottomans over here. I have the French over here. I have almost all the great powers right next to me. I, I'm going to die pretty quickly. I mean, it, with my Santo, with my Socanto, with somebody points out to me, it's like pronounced Socanto. Um, let's play, I had a little bit of years, at least until 1870 before people would be able to conquer me. In this, almost instantly, they can all come after me. So my best bet is I hope France will spear me, and then I can use France's abilities as a power to then use, to then expand off and take over Argentina and Morocco, because that's basically the only place I can expand to. Maybe Egypt if I'm really, really lucky, but that's a different matter entirely. So, anyways guys, we're back here in this Let's Play, and I'm just going to um, roll down a list of all the tabs, so... Basically, I don't have to go through production because we have no production. I already know. We have no factories. We have no nothing. We're basically making nothing. I mean, we're a desert. Basically, we're just all desert. So, we barely even make what we do make. Alright? Budget-wise, you know me. I'm going to be taxing my people to almost ludicrous levels. Uh, we're probably going to have to adjust our naval to all the way down. I'm not really going to be focused on naval instruments. Land tech, we could probably get down. I mean, the first thing we have to worry about is making money. I mean, that's honestly what we have to do. We have to make that moolah, the dough. You know what I mean? Alright, so then, we go on to policies. Form a rate. What? Wait a minute! Huh? Uh, what? Uh, what? Uh, what? Okay, I did not know we had the chance to form Arabia. Um, this is news to me, because I thought we couldn't form Arabia, but apparently we can form Arabia. I don't know how that's going to work, though, because Arabia is really this, like, over here kind of region. I mean, I guess it kind of includes Stunners, but that doesn't really work. How is that? How are we allowed to form Arabia? Oh, oh well, I'm just going to move on from there. I'm not going to be able to do it anyways. There, that is just way too much land. The Ottomans, yeah, I have to go through the Ottomans, I have to go through the Egyptians, I have to go through Najed, then I have to go to Herendis. Yeah, that's a lot of nations. I may come that as a subcategory goal is forming, is forming Arabia, but that's going to be difficult. So, a policies-wise, before I just got, like, completely off track, and I, I have to get back on this. So, a policy-wise, what are we going to go for? We're going to go for westernization, because we need all the... We need everything we can get in this Let's Play, honestly. So, what we do for that is that we switch over to the liberalistic faction as long as they don't make minimalist taxes. No, they don't. If, you, if they make minimalist taxes, I'm going to have to take them out of power. Oh, and then we have one national focus, or one national modifier, which is the very good, because we only have one region. So, this is actually pretty overpowered. We could probably use this to increase our... Literacy rate to what we need it to be, so let's start doing that. Because we need our literacy rate up. I'm sorry, but we need to get our thing done. So, Armin's want to uh, an alliance, it's fine me. Um, diplomacy wise, again, we're going to be trying to get the French on our side and not to kill us. Uh, army wise, I'm just going to hope we don't die. Okay? So, everyone, that is the, fun that is the fundamentally bottom starters uh, base of how we're going to start this episode. So anyone, guys, I'll do my usual time skip. Since I am an uncivilized nation, I'm going to do it every five years. No, five or ten years. We'll see. I'll have to see. We'll have to see if five is too much or we'll have to see if ten is too, is, is too little, you know. Wait, reverse those two statements. we have to see if five is too little and ten is too much. We'll see. All right, guys, but my first time skip is happening now. Okay, guys, I'm bringing you back at a very crucial point. Um, basically, I got bored. Like, literally, like, as soon as I ended the recording, I was like, okay, what am I supposed to do? Um, and I've decided that I'm going to declare war on Algeria. Algeria, which is not Argentina. Something that, 
something that many many of my fans point out in my friends let's play even though even though it has been months since I played that they still point it out to me saying oh yeah remember that nation that you like kept saying the wrong name for yeah it's called Algeria not Argentina so just remember that so Algeria I'm going to be going to war with one second guys alright I have the causes Belai conquest we're going to need to take this over so we're going to see if my nation of patheticness can actually handle one other nation of patheticness. Wow, we cannot support our own selves. I just realized that is a major hindrance. Okay, so let's see. We have so far the bigger army. I'm going to use kind of good tactics. going to wait for them to go inside the desert. Okay, the desert offers no physical advantages, honestly. Like, really no physical advantage. We just have to make sure we crush whatever army is right there. Which is not going to be too hard, I guess. Uh, yeah, you better not lose. Your head is on the line. And I mean your head. You better not lose. Okay. Conservative Party 1. Good job, Conservatives. Thank you. Thank you, guys. Now, do I have a leader yet? No. We're still pathetic. Okay, well, you guys hunt them down. We need you guys to kill off every single one of those guys. And I don't know where the other army... Usually, there's two armies of this, of Algeria. Algeria usually has two armies. I don't know. Oh, shoot. There's the other army. Retreat! <laughs> Retreat back into our land. Because we aren't that good when it comes to uh, attacking. Okay, we might. Okay. So right now, the, they have 20 troops, as I see in total. 20 troops. I have 12 troops. I'm going to have to really, really hope that my people can really raise up more than this. Okay, what I'm going to do is switch over to armies. Yeah, you seriously, guys. How are we not encouraging soldiers? What the heck is wrong with our soldier department? Okay, let's get that. Let's get that up and going. Okay, and you know what? I'm hoping that they do not attack me right now because this will be the this will be the best time. Oh, we finally got a t somebody. He's really terrible at almost everything, but we finally got one commander. I'm not even gonna try to pronounce his name. He would be a terrible. It'd be one of those things my fans would definitely mock me as if I try to pronounce that name. Okay, so he's gonna move down to Gaf Gafsa. Okay, humiliate. What? Really? They're winning the war? Really? Huh. Am I losing? Oh, defender's occupation. Okay, that's not too bad. I can. That's easily correctable. Just saying. Establish protectorate. Ah, oh, shoot. Well, I kind of knew that was going to come up, so it wasn't like. It wasn't like something shocking, but France, let's be buddies. Oh, barnacles. I clicked the wrong one, didn't I? Oh, man. Well, uh, this let's play might come to a close very quickly. And you guys stink. Just flat out stink. Oh my goodness. Yep, this is probably going to be the shortest let's play I've ever done in my life. Yeah, why don't you guys just try a... Oh my goodness. Come on, guys. Come on. Oh, wait, they're taking lots of nutrition. That might actually help us. Keep taking nutrition. Keep taking nutrition. Dang it. They stopped taking nutrition. Well, we're about to reconquer one of our land. That mobility of the one... The one, uh... Horseman's really affecting us. I didn't want to show the entire battle, by the way, but I feel like we're going to... This is... I'm probably going to be ended here soon by the French. So I'm just going to... Uh, see how much I can do before that happens you know what why not why not we, we don't have any prestige I don't see how this is gonna hinder us at all okay so we're back at peace that was a terrible idea I tried to attack Algeria and it did not work Algeria completely put their boot down said you know what we don't like you and they added a humiliation causes bill so let's see are the French still doing this yes they are we have 40 days until that happens I'll skip to that okay guys here comes doomsday Aye. So we have the French moving in. They're not moving in. Actually, I like... Oh, well, I'm paused. That's why. I was like, wait a minute. Did the AI actually freeze up? Do I get a free card? No. No. I don't get that lucky ever. So anyways, we're about to get conquered by our good friends of French. You know, good, good old friends of French. They are definitely... Oh, well. Yeah. Kind of knew this was going to happen. Yep. Yeah, I can't really do much for you guys. 
Even if we had all of our army, yeah, we could not deal with both the French. Seem to be doing pretty good right now. Maybe we'll have a status quo against someone. Maybe somebody will come and help us. You know, like maybe the Ottomans? Maybe? I mean, the Ottomans would be the only ones to be able to bail us out at this point. If they don't come in, we're basically dead. Let's see. Yes, we're friendly with them. Okay, we might still be in this if we declare status quo. Come on, Ottomans, get your lazy butt in there. We're your friends. You can't possibly betray us. Sissy, don't betray us. We're your friends. We're your allies. Don't you dare to kick us out. Oi, come on. Well, I'm completely conquered, so what do I do now? That's what I do now, everyone! So we got answer to my question, and... Well, that was the quickest Let's Play I've ever had, so I guess I can just do a rating. Um... Judging by my... Let's see. Let's start with the first one is. Civil is civilized. Can you civilize in this? Um... Well, by how fast we were going, and... And that we were roughly going slower than the Santo was in terms of industrialization. And the Santo were going pretty dang slow. We weren't, like, when I was calculating it, we probably would not industrialize until, like, 1910 as a Santo. Or Sacanto. So, I don't know how we would be able to industrialize with a Tanis nation. Which means we would always have a great nation onto us. Or well, great nation just always picking us up and trying to throw us or trying to conquer us or anything. That's why Tunis does not sound like a good name. Name it Carthage or something. Carthage actually sounds like a good name because then, you know, you kind of, then you kind of have the old remnants of what the empire used to be and, you know, then you have a region to go kick the butt of Italy. See? But, um, in terms of that, no, I don't see, because I don't know what else you're supposed to do because basically, if, in my idea of Tunis, if I did not do anything like maybe my prestige and war with um, Algeria affected some of this but I, I really don't think I it really wouldn't have mattered anyway the French would have still tried to do a cause of ally against me and stuff would have still happened I mean it really wasn't nothing I could really do in this situation I was going to die <laughs> I was going to die I mean it's just basic the, the only thing I can base this on is that it could be luck you could possibly survive long enough because of luck and you know other nations getting so involved in everything else that they don't want to deal with you. But in all honesty, um, that's not a game you should play then. Because then it becomes difficult to do anything. Like, um, at least with the at least with the Sacanto, I can I was gonna live until 1870. I knew that because I knew none of the great powers would be able to, you know, conquer me at least until then. So I knew I, w I knew I was kind of safe. But with this, we were instantly not safe. So that means we instantly got room for conquer. Uh, being conquered. So, likelihood of becoming a great power with this nation? Almost zero. Like, in the, I, I really think there'd be no possible way you could become a great power with this. Because not only do... Because I always refer back to this, but the population of a nation matters. Okay? The population of this nation was way too low from the beginning. 500k is way too low of a population streak to do anything with. I mean, we could honestly do nothing with that population kind of increase. We could possibly do nothing with that kind of that kind of thing. And I know you guys think, well, maybe you could like uh, do birth rates and all that kind of stuff. At the most, and I mean, this is at the most. My game would end with like maybe four million. If I played this all the way through, I'd probably end with a population of around four million or five million because I'd probably hit that like ex expended growth late or exponential growth late, and that would really affect me really badly. So uh, most likely. It would not. I would not be able to do much, so my population would never grow to be as powerful as a great power. Um, creating factories. Tunis only has a maximum of about eight factory slots. Eight factory slots is not enough to do anything. And since we don't have any type of um, iron or coal, it's going to be really difficult if we actually ever made it to that point. So the only logical thing that you can do with the Tunis people is you have to do some conquest. But the problem with that is that Algeria, your next door neighbor, who's quite happy with us and quite happy that I'm now pronouncing the name right good old Algeria is they are honestly more powerful than we are so we honestly will never be able to like be able to like win by anything I mean we can't even use our own terrain against them because most of our terrain 
gives us no bonuses to defense and no bonuses to attack. The only thing that's really good is, mo is, mo is movement, but we don't have any enforcement and we don't have any army that's really great. So, you know, maybe, uh, maybe, I'm, I'm just, this is hypothetical thinking, but I could have like built up my army a little bit better, maybe like disbanded some things and done that, but I was looking, as you guys saw yourself, we couldn't build any soldiers. We couldn't build any soldiers and we couldn't build you know anything so that leads me to conclude that we just couldn't build anything soldier wise so we couldn't go on expanding which means we couldn't like expand to, you know help us become a great power and get that population because maybe if we had Algeria underneath that control we might be able to have that population that we need but you know it's it's still we still would run into the same problems of France would want to expand and you know we wouldn't be able to stop them flat out we would not be able to stop them so yeah overall conclusion though this let's play being fun <laughs> I laughed so I'm gonna consider this like a 5 out of 10 in terms of fun cuz I had fun doing this rage inducing not really I kinda knew what was it was like a 1 out of 10 because I kinda knew what was gonna happen cuz I mean come on we've all conquered tons at some point in our games so you know I survived until 1838 so I'm happy of surviving two years into this game that's all I gotta say, so, uh, yeah, I think that about wraps it up, so thank you guys for watching, this is probably gonna be uploaded today, if I really, if I really am crucial, because this is only, like, maybe, like, six minutes of recording, wow, may have to do another one, because it's just so short, so, um, thank you guys for watching, don't forget to leave your own suggestions about what nation I should play as, and try to raise up to a great power, or even if you can raise up to a great power, please tell me in the comments, and we'll see if we can do it, so, thank you guys for watching. I want you to know, I will see you guys next time.